Right. Hey guys, today we're going to work on um, uh, transitions in uh, false grip. So day two, we've got three drills again. We're going to do a uh, transition catch drill, a false grip hang drill, and a hip drive drill. So first one, uh, so set the gym rings up. It'll be a little bit different for everyone, but about hip height um, or a little bit higher. Uh, so with this, the way I teach a muscle up progression is false grip. Because there's some people that can do a muscle up with a normal grip. But you're going to be more successful um, if you first muscle up to go from a false grip. So false grip, okay, wrists go on, thumbs come around. Okay, most people know what a false grip is. It sits across the wrist and um, across the palm. Okay, it's going to allow you to go from the bottom of the ring to the top of the ring without having to slide your whole hand over. Okay, which beginners don't have. Beginners haven't got that. They'll transition, but their hands will get stuck. Okay, false grip would just slide uh, right over. So standing right underneath the bar, or whatever you got your, uh, your gym rings hanging from, get your false grip, okay, just squatting down. So for this drill, we're using um, legs and arms just to practice the transition. So I'll do a couple reps and then walk through it. So there's no dip or anything with this drill. We're just practicing going from under the rings uh, to, to catching in the bottom of that dip. Uh, two, there's two movements. Thing one is looking to the roof, pull to the sternum. Two is smashing head through the window uh, and looking to the ground. And what we don't want to do is turn it into that, where I come up and I'm just landing high. Okay, you need to practice landing in that deep dip, like I practiced the other day with the, the dips that we were doing. Uh, full uh, RX would be catching it and holding it for two seconds. So you want to catch and hold, feet off the ground, and then rest, and then continue for your reps for three sets of 12. Uh, the reason why we practice this drill down low, um, and why I don't let people go straight up to the bar or to the rings for muscle ups, is you want to have that stability and to be able to, to catch the gym rings. If I have it, okay, I, want to, I want to be able to um, catch it if I'm up high, I might fall forward and do the classic Okay, kind of arm um, coming through. Okay, you want to do that down here. You don't want to do that you know, 10 foot in the air and um, throw your shoulder out. Scaling options for this one would be just to keep your feet planted. So transition, stop, feet on the ground. See if I can take my feet off the ground for two seconds uh, rather than catching it dynamically. But the ultimate goal is to try and catch it with your feet off the ground. <clears throat> um, false grip hang is the next one. So three sets of 20 second holds. Okay, similar to yesterday's holds that we were doing. Okay, this is just to build strength with that false grip. Okay, because it's a lot different to just a normal grip. So again, wrist is on, half the palms on. And I'm just gonna accumulate a 20 second hold. And just, if you need to break it up, break it up. Um, however you like. Last drill is a hip drive drill. So for this one, you gotta set some gym rings up a little bit lower. Um, for me, I'm about a little over six foot. Kind of rings just above my knees. So this drill is going to teach uh, hip drive and just more more strength work for that that false grip and pulling. So I'll do a couple of reps and then uh, break it down. Okay, now with it as well. Um, all our transitions, elbows are in nice and tight. We don't want to have those elbows out and, and be coming up. So elbows are in nice and tight. Um, don't wind the legs up and then go. I just want to have my knees up, open my hips and pull. They have got a hold for any significant amount of time. It's just open and pull. And um, that's it for day two.